Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do some basic percent problems now that are right out of pre-algebra, but they're part of your review. Okay, of the 8,760 hours in a year, one television was on for 2,190 hours. What percent is this? Okay, let's do this. Was on for 20, ah, where's my pen? That's the problem. Okay, was on, uh, there are a total of 8,760 hours in a year. And this television was on for 2190. What percent is this? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take 2190 and we're going to divide it by 8760 and we're going to hit enter. Now, don't say that that's the answer because it's not. This is the decimal equivalent of the percent. To change a decimal to a percent, you multiply the decimal by 100. So if you multiply 0 0.25 by 100, that's your answer. Your answer is 25%. Okay, now, convert the following percent, 37%, to a decimal. First, let's talk about this symbol, the percent symbol. What this symbol means is this is the division sign. And that zero and that zero are the two zeros in 100. What 37% really says is 37 per 100, which is 37 over 100. Put that in your calculator. 37 divided by 100, enter. Point 37, to change a percent to a decimal, you divide the, 30, the, the 37 without the percent sign by 100. And so there's your answer, point 37. Here's another proportion. Notice it's one fraction equals one fraction. They're just uglier than usual fractions, but no problem. Whenever you've got one fraction equals one fraction, all you have to do is cross multiply. Let's get red. Imagine an X going through the equal sign. When you cross multiply, what you do is you multiply along the diagonals of the x. So I'm going to say 6 times 2x minus 1 equals 5 times 2x plus 8. And I'm going to solve that problem. Only it's not an x, it's an r, isn't it? Oh, well. 6 times 2r minus 1 equals 5 times 2r plus 8. Now I'm going to distribute here. That will give me 12r minus 6. And over here I'll have 10r plus 40. Now this is a mixed equation. 
I need to get my variable terms together on one side of the equal sign and my constant, which are pure number terms, together on the other side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 10r from both sides of the equal sign, from both sides of the equation. 10r minus 10r is 0. I'm left with a 40. Over on the left side, 12r minus 10r is 2r, and I bring down my minus 6. Don't forget to bring the minus sign with the 6. Now, I have a variable term, a constant term, and a constant term. I need to get this negative 6 over there to the 40. Remember, this is 2r plus negative 6 equals 40. So I'm going to add positive 6 to both sides of the equation because negative 6 plus positive 6 equals 0. And I'll be left with 2r equals 46. Now I have 2 times r equals 46 um, to undo the 2. To get r by itself, I divide by 2. I divide by 2. 2 over 2 is 1. I'll have 1r equals 23. So r equals 23. Does it? Let's check it. Back in the original equation. You always have to go back to the original equation, as mean as that feels. Okay, and I'm going to put 23 in there. 2 times 23 plus 8 over 6. And I'm going to hope that that equals 2 times 23 minus 1 over 5. I'm going to do this in parts in the calculator. Watch what I do. I am going to calculate the top separately. I'm not going to bring in the divide by 6. Um, here I'm going to say 2 times 23 plus 8, enter, then divide it by 6. Over here I'm going to say 2 times 23 minus 1, enter, then I'll divide it by 5. That will keep me from making a mistake. Okay, so we're going to have 2 parentheses 23, parentheses closed, plus 8, enter. And I'm going to divide that by 6, and I get 9. Let me write that down over here. Now, on the other side, I'll have 2 parentheses 23, parentheses closed, minus 1, enter is 45 divided by 5, divided by 5, enter. That's 9. Hurrah! Okay, what our proof showed is that 9 equals 9. That's true. It's the true I'm looking for. The true over here means that r equals 23 is really my answer. So now I know that the answer to this problem, the solution to this problem, is 23. OK, a couple of more percent problems. What is 65 percent of 262? In math, the word of, especially if you're working with percents, almost always means 65 percent times 262, but you can't multiply a percent, so you have to change it to its equivalent decimal. Div when you divide 65 by 100, you get 0 .65. Six, 0 .65 times 262 is going to be our answer. So let's go to the calculator. 
hit clear and say point 65 times to 62 enter and that's 170.3 look at your answer simplify your answer type an integer that's a whole number that's positive or negative or zero or a decimal well we have a decimal so our answer is 170.3 Okay, now let's come down here. This is a little bit stickier, this problem is right here, but it's our last problem, so we can do this. 80% of what is $32? All right, well, of means times, so what I'm saying is 80% times a number I don't know, so let's call it X is 32. Well, I have to change the 80% to a decimal. So 0.80 times x equals 32. So I'll divide both sides by 0.80. The 0.80s cancel out here, leaving me with an x. And I'll go to the calculator and say 32 divided by 0.8, or you can say 0 0.80. They're exactly the same thing. Enter, and the answer is 40. So I would put a 40 here. 80% of $40 is $32. Is that true? Let's try it. 0.80 times $40. So 80% of $40, does that equal 32? Yes, it does. All right. This is our last problem. We have now done one example of each type of of problem that you have in your word problem homework. So good luck, stay in touch with me, and uh, we can work out any problems you have. But try to figure it out on your own first.